this is the beginning of part two of the video on the dynamic registration module from Data Springs and how you can use it to simplify the registration form in .NET Nook. So where we stopped last time was we were just about to go to admin site settings to set up our new page, our new registration page as the new default site registration page. So we are in the site settings. We can scroll all the way down. Let's go to advanced settings. And then under registration page, we will select our new page, which is called new registration. So I have selected that at the end here. I'm going to click update. And by clicking update, what I hope to achieve now, if I flip back to Internet Explorer, if I go back to my home page, if I click, if I click register, I should be redirected to my new registration page. Now let's give it a try on this page. Let's let's uh, let's say that we are a new user. We are just registering ourselves. So if I, I'm just gonna put a, a fake user here. And password, password. Let's confirm password. And let's put the email address. A fake email address as well. And let's click, let's click register and see what happens. So when I click register, uh, uh, the user was created because as you can see at the top, uh, the name came up here. And so the user was created. Now let's have a look at the back end of the site and see how this user was created. I mean, and see the details of that user. To do that, we can just go to admin and user accounts. From user account, we can try to find uh, our new user, which is called Mark. Let's try to search for him. So he's here. Let's have a look at the details of this user. So let have uh, if you, if you check here the username even though we have not asked for the username but the username was populated as uh, our as the email address the same thing happened with display name display name we said that should be populated by the first name so the first name came to the display name so this is just this was just a simple tutorial. Uh, so you get to know the dynamic registration for the dynamic registration a mod from data springs and you know what what kind of basic things you can do with that now uh next videos i'll be exploring this module more and more because again it it has quite a lot of options and i'll be digging deeper into the different aspects of this module but this video here was just about simplifying the registration page in .NET Nook by using the dynamic registration module from DataSprings. Thank you very much and bye for now.